All right, welcome back to the workshop, Handyman. Today we have got us a basket case, as some people know. It's when somebody brings me a bunch of parts and pieces that they tore apart and don't know how to put it back together. So, today we're going to see what we can do with a chainsaw. So, let me show you what we have. They have brought me a steel chainsaw. Uh, these are the parts that they've dropped to me. This is a... Uh, Let's see, that's, what do they call this, a rapid start or something, or easy start? It's a MS-211C, uh, so we're going to see what it takes to, to put it back together and what we're missing. I have taken a little bit of a look at it, and I can tell that uh, the spring that we had is definitely not looking right, because I believe it should have a little hook in that, to hook down into that. And then on top of that, this piece should go in there. I believe, and the way I'm coming up with all this information is I went out on the internet and I've got me a little breakdown. So we're going to see, uh, according to this, we'll need a spring. So I've gone and purchased the spring. comes in a little handy holder here. I'm hoping that's set in place and then take that little holder off of it and it stays put because those will be a pain. Uh, the other part I noticed as I'm going through here, these little wings that are in here, whatever they're called, there's supposed to be two of them. I only had one, so I went ahead and we picked up a couple of those. Uh, and those things are like four dollars and fifty cent a piece, and that spring was I don't know, like seventeen dollars, I think. That's what they quoted me. I think that's what they ended up charging me. Um, I do not have a pull cord or handle. I don't know what happened to that. I do have a piece of string here, so we should be able to work that out. So we're going to kind of put all this back together and see if I can make it work somehow. So we're going to go ahead and take this and unpackage it and set her back down into the hole here and see if we can make sure that that's going to work. So that's going to be the first step. We'll show you as we kind of get things put together. Okay, so the first thing I think we need to do is I've unwrapped this and it comes in a little plastic thing already put together. So I think with all these holes on the back of it and everything, it kind of indicates I should be able to take this very gently, hopefully, get it down in there and line it up and let it set right in that hole. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know if that's what's actually going to happen or not. But we're going to kind of give it a little push and see if we can kind of push it down into that hole. And then hopefully that'll release right away and it won't go springing all over the place. So, and this comes up out and there it is, just like that. So we definitely want to make sure that thing is seated as far down in there as we can get it. Looks like it needs to go in just a little bit more. Hmm. I want to push it in a little bit more anyway, so we're going to just see if it'll go. Okay. So then after we get that in there, the next thing we've got on our page back here um, is we've got to put this on there. And it's got a little washer set up on here. I'm going to take that off for a minute. I think we need to get the rope in here and get it strung through. So we're going to go ahead and feed the rope into this hole and see if we can get it worked back in there. So we're going to work on getting that in. Might have to get us a little punch to push it in there. So we're going to do that. We'll let you see it won't get that part. All right, we're recording? Yep. Okay. Uh. So we got it in here. We've tied a knot in it. And... Can you see that all right? Yeah. Okay, so I've got help on my camera today, and we've got uh, a brand new camera, so we're going to, we're kind of winging this video a little bit, but anyways, we've rolled it up. I think this is the way we're going to have to do it, just from past experience on other ones. We feed it through the hole, and we let this come out, and then that coil should line up with this and capture a hold of it when we get it in here. With this all wound up like it is, I'm hoping that that would be enough that when we pull on it, it captures that, that spring, and it pulls it back in. So 
we're going to try this. It might take a couple tries to actually capture that spring. Hmm. It's starting to capture it. It's starting to spin back in by itself. So, as you can see, it's captured it. It gives us a Whoa, no. Oh. There we go. That's what we didn't want to have happen. So we're going to take this part and see if we can salvage it real quick. Do you want me to stop it? Yep. Huh? There we go. Start. It's going? It's going. Okay. The next thing we need to do is a little washer. It looks like needs to go on there. So we're going to set that on. And uh, we did make a little mistake there. It fell all apart. But I did find out that it's the easiest way to do is just take it back apart. And go ahead and work it back into our little holder here and then just start over again that didn't work out too bad uh the next thing we got is these two little things here they're pretty self-explanatory i think they only go in one way it looks like so we'll set those down in there we go and let's see the next thing it looks like we need is this little springy clip here i'm not really sure what direction that belongs in or if it really makes a big difference because it's going to hit against one or the other anyways and there's a little groove in there so we're going to try it we're going to go ahead and put that on that groove that's in there and clip it in place Let me push it down with a screwdriver here okay so we've got it in there it's clipped down i don't think we need uh anything else with that so then the next thing we're going to need, it looks like is a big washer, which would be this one maybe. And then this is the, what they call, I think the easy start or something, coil. Uh, I believe that's what they call it. And it's also got a spring in here. So this one is, I think that's where you get your double action on it. So this is supposed to go in there. And then these little, little things, I don't know if you can see them, as they flip out, they're going to catch on to these little grooves it looks like so we'll push those in out of the way for right now we'll set that on there and this one here goes on next so that's going to go in there and that lines right up with the thing looks like i think we're on the right path there next we've got another small washer so that'll fall right on top of that and then we've got the little c-clip here that we've got to put in and let's see if I can put that in or if I'm gonna have to get me a pair of pliers it almost looks like it's gonna go right on in there I don't know if that's tight enough though I guess it's not going to fall out ain't got a whole lot of ways to go so all right everything's kind of clipped in place we got the rope here we're gonna see if I think that's going to work. Um, I don't have a handle yet. I will have to get one of those, but I think that's going to put everything together that way. Let's we'll see now if we can uh, get it put back on the chainsaw, see if it actually will turn the thing over when I do it. I could maybe salvage this thing yet. Okay, let's see here. How do I hit that goes on like that. Maybe. See, it's always easier when you have uh, when you take it apart, but I think we'll get it. It goes on there. It's got to go over that piece. So that'll sit in there like that. And then you have four screws, and I'm assuming that this one with the bigger head is going to go right there. And then the other ones go below it. And I think that looks like about a T20 or T25. Let's see here. Yeah, T25 looks like it's going to do it. So we'll put that in there. Get them all started. And we should be good to go. We'll give her a pull here in a second. Let me tighten these on up. Okay, we've got those all tightened up. And now we get to just put the cover here on. Let's see if I can figure out how that goes on. I think that's supposed to sit down over that somehow. That almost looks like it. Click in. 
Uh, like I say, a whole lot easier when you're... Yeah, there we go. I think that's got it. Now, I don't have a handle for it yet, so what we'll have to do... Uh, I'm just going to kind of pull it over a little bit. And it looks like it's doing it, so what we'll do when we... When I get the handle for it, I'll pick one of those up when I go back to the store. We'll just pull this up for a little bit of tension on it, run it through there, tie a knot in it, and then we'll be good to go. But uh, that's all there is to putting the recoil back in there, and it's ready to go. So I'm going to hold on to the little tool also, just because that worked pretty slick for putting it in there. I don't know if they all come that way, but I think we'll keep it just in case, because those little springs can really be a pain. So anyways, thanks for checking us out. Like I said, MS211C. Uh, I can put a couple part numbers together if uh, on what I found, but mainly just uh, go out there and search on the internet until you find a little parts breakdown. This is a pretty good parts breakdown for you. Uh, and those are the numbers for what I had to buy, these big long numbers. If you wanted to not fool with that thing, that particular whole mechanism, if you want to buy it, $161. So we definitely don't want to spend that much money on a saw that's probably only worth uh, 300 or something. So anyways, that's going to wrap up the video. I appreciate you checking us out and uh, hit that like and the subscribe button. I sure do appreciate it. And we'll catch you on the next project.